The song through the hand motion with me is what? Go in, go back, subtract, bring it down, let's do it again. Uh-uh. Y'all sound, I know it's too sick, boring. I want to lie. You all ready? Let's go. Go in, go back, subtract, bring it down, let's do it again. This time, I want my girl. Girls, girls only, in your cheerleading voices. Are you ready, girls? Here we go, girls. Go in, go back, subtract, bring it down, let's do it again. This time, I want the boys in a football voice. Y'all ready, boys? Let's see what's the matter. Girls, come on. Here we go. Go in, go back, subtract. Voice level is zero. This here is called Remember My Roots. When I'm writing, you should be right. This is called my divisor. Inside is called my dividend. Outside is called my quotient. An answer to a division problem is called quotient. We reviewed this last week. The first thing I told you to do is write your divisor from one through nine. Write your divisor like I have on the board, one through nine. You're gonna already have it solved because it will make it easier for you. Notice what did I do? I saw my divisor one through nine. You already have it on your paper. So what's the first thing in the song? We're going to do what? Go in. Go in means divide. Can 323 go into five? So what do I do? I combine 52. Can 323 go into 52? No. Can 323 go into 522? Yes. Yes. So all you have to do is look at your facts and tell me what number that is divided by 323 gets me closer to 522 without going over. We have to multiply by one. 323 multiply one. The last digit that I use, that's where I'm going to put my first number in in my quote. We went in, what was the next part of the song? Go back. Go back. So I do 323 times one is what? 323. What is the next part of the song? Subtract. Subtract. So how would I subtract this out? I can't borrow three from two. Wait, I need, can I see the question? Okay, so. Oh, wait, I have one paper. Um, so the way we're gonna do this is, so since, oh wait. So five is able to go. So five is able to in, in deep subtract. Oh, one. How do I do this? Um. So you do this by first subtracting two by three. So. But we can't do that. So we're gonna take from the two in front and turn the first two into twelve, and then subtract that by three, and then we'll get nine. And then since the two in front of the first two became a one, it's zero. And then five minus three is two. Do as I agree. If you agree, if you disagree, anybody dis you disagree? Yeah, I've got a different Oh yeah, same. Okay, well, I'm talking. Why do you disagree? Because I got a different number subtracting it. Okay. Tell me why do you disagree? Because uh, you would have to borrow from the first two, so mm -hmm. then uh, 
there would be two small to subtract by mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. So you would have to borrow from the five. Mm -hmm. You think I should borrow from the five? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on one minute. Anybody agree with that? How many of you disagree? Um, I got 197. Okay, tell me why. Because I uh, subtracted from the five. Okay. So, you say you have 197. So, if I make this 12, how did I get nine here? You say you have 197. Um, because uh, when you add it and then subtract it by the um, 2, 12, when you add it to, because uh, I had to get the, the 12 to get borrowed by 2. Okay. You said you had 11 here, and what did it give you? 